Hi everybody, welcome to Accessorize Your Life. Well, this month I'm back with the Beauty Over 40 group and we've come together to join the Asian American Pacific Islander community and in celebrating their heritage, along with their many contributions to America. But most importantly, like all of us, their right to live here freely without hate. So we're showing our support by giving you some Asian persuasion makeup books. So I hope you are ready to see what we come up with. And by the way, I lost the footage of the other day, so please find their channels listed below. Right now, I'm starting off with the Wanda Beauty. This is a brow pencil. And I did not know that a co-founder of Wanda Beauty was Asian. So I definitely went for this pencil for this look. And now I'm using a um, eye primer. And this eye primer is from P. Louise. This young lady is from London. So excuse me for that. But she is Asian. And she created this lovely product. And don't forget Mally and Patrick Starr. They are both Filipino Americans. So they're from the Asian community. And I find that I have a lot of Patrick Starr and Mally products because they're all about bulletproof makeup and securing the blur. So therefore, it's makeup that lasts and that beats sweat. And that's what I'm all about. Most Asian makeup is definitely created for a soft, dewy, youthful look. But I like a youthful look but I don't like the shine and I want my makeup to last. So those two brands are what I mostly have in my collection. So I'm happy to share them with you. So here I'm going in with uh, the one size palette and pulling colors to add to my eyes. And this is definitely an Asian persuasion look with all of the makeup I have in my collection that is by Asian creators. So I'm basically doing my regular makeup routine uh, for this look. But again, I want to emphasize the products are mostly all founded by Asian Americans. I have a few exceptions. I think it's easy to go in with a eyeshadow to line the lid here and then go in with a pencil. I'm seeing I'm having to touch up my eyeshadow there. So I'm using Patrick Star, and this is his Point Made Black Liquid Eyeliner. And uh, it has a nice sharp point there that stays on point while you're applying it. And here I'm using the Secure the Door by Patrick Starr as my face primer. Keeps the sweat at bay and also helps with textured skin. And I like to go in with his translucent powder just to set my um, primer so that it really secures the look and also hides some of the texture on my skin. And I'm using Kilo here. This is by a Jamaican Asian young lady, and it is a sunscreen and tinted skin color. And here I have Mally's concealer. This concealer is really nice. It's in deep, and it is the plush or blush pen. It's a brightening concealer. And I'm using my finger just to dab it in around my eyes, and then I'll go in with a sponge or brush just to set it all over my face. So I have quite a few Molly uh, products as well. I first came in contact with her through QVC and um, the first thing I got was a palette from her. So here I'm using her bronzer and this one is in medium. I also have deep, so I'm kind of looking, deciding whether or not I should pull it out. But I decide no, I'm gonna use these 
blushes here. Well, at least one of them. I'm going to go with the Powder Puff Girls. Who doesn't like them? They are not an Asian brand. This is ColourPop, but this is all about the Japanese comic culture. So I pulled it and I love it in pink here. And here's the Mali palette I was talking about. I picked this up at QVC just to try out the brand. This is my first time using it. So I'm just going in with one color because this is an older palette um, that it's a little dusty now. But I'm using it to create a line on my um, lower eyelid. Now I'm using mascara from Wanda Beauty. Wanda Beauty is a company that I did not know was... Um, founded by a uh, Asian American. Actually, she's a co-founder of the company. So there you go. And I also have Molly's mascara and it is in More is More. So now I'm going with three lippies. The first one is the Lip Retreat by Wanda Beauty. It's an oil. And then I also have this lip oil that I'm going to use here. This is from Jolly Pong Pong. And Susan Chai is Chinese, and Jolly Pong Pong is her cosmetic company. And this is a hybrid uh, lip oil that's great for putting on your lips before you put on matte lipsticks or anything like that. It's also a little treatment for your lips. And next, I have M Cosmetics. Now, Michelle Fang is Korean, but she is an American YouTuber a beauty YouTuber who has created this lovely lip plumping, just volumizing um, lip base here that plumps up your lips. It's in a dark pink called Radiant Dawn, and it's not sticky, and it has a gel base. So it's supposed to fill in your lips. And I find it best just to um, mush my lips together and not try to smear it too much. So I think this look is coming out rather light anyway, without me trying too hard. I think Asians are all about skincare more so than makeup, but they like to keep their makeup light. They like makeup, but they want it to be barely seen. Now this is the Wonder Beauty Wonder Seascape pa uh, Palette. And I'm just pulling one shade out of there, and it's in sea salt to use as my highlighter. And a little on the lips, why not? And I'm going to add a little bit more of that Mali um, mascara to my lashes since I'm not wearing falsies. And here I'm spraying House of Siage Passion de la Mort. <laughs> 